Well, uh, this evening was quite a time across the Charlotte area. In fact, take a live look here uh, from Monroe's downtown, the government center. We still have some clouds lingering around, although most of the storms have moved further to our south. Here's the current situation here on Doppler radar. Uh, of course, most of the area saw strong, if not severe thunderstorms move through. We had multiple reports there. Uh, uh, trees down. Damaging wind gusts, of course, too. A pretty typical afternoon here in the Queen City with all of those storms. Now, where they are right now, we still have a few storms lingering on the southern, most southern tip there of Chesterfield County, but the worst storm activity has shifted down toward Cleveland uh, or parts there of Columbia, rather. Uh, Cleveland County is still nice and dry. You can see all of these storm reports uh, all the way up toward parts of Burke, Cleveland County, over toward Mecklenburg County, too. I uh, definitely packed a punch, especially in terms of trees falling down. We had multiple reports of that. We shared you the story earlier in the newscast about the Cleveland County uh, tree there that went down and the car had to pump the brakes and then ended up giving an a rear end accident there. But we had multiple retrieves reported down even here in Mecklenburg County. Now, oftentimes, of course, we wonder why this happens. Well, it's all about the rain, right? So when the dry gra ground is dry, roots pretty much stay in place. But when they get wet, they get nice and loose there because of all of that rain that falls. And so we've had rain the past few days especially in parts of the metro and up toward the mountains and foothills. So we were already wet even before the storms tonight. So as they rolled through, and of course they're nice and loose, you get those damaging winds about 40 or so miles an hour. We had a few even higher uh, that pretty much can easily bring some of those down. And we're going to be watching this threat again for tomorrow. So what's going on now is you have those storms lingering there just south of us, mostly dry by about 1, 2 o'clock, and then really kicking off Wednesday, actually pretty dry until a resurgence of storms again in the afternoon. Mentioned this a few times, so tomorrow is going to be a medium risk for strong to severe storms. So if you saw it today and you thought, whew, it was quite an afternoon, get ready for tomorrow and even into Thursday as this threat is going to be elevated. Medium both days, today was just a low risk, so uh, get ready. Have, of course, that WCNC Charlotte mobile app handy so you can track the storms with us. My current thinking on timing of tomorrow's storms is mostly going to be from about 6 to about 10 o'clock or so, at least across the Charlotte metro area. We will see a few of these linger a little bit earlier, a little bit later. But, of course, you know, we talking mountains all the way down to the sand hills. So it's going to be quite an afternoon and early evening, although I do expect most storms to wrap up around this time tomorrow. So here's how we're shaping up 3, 4 p.m. Most seeing storms develop in the mountains and foothills. Here we are 6, 7, 8 o'clock across the metro. This is likely going to be that biggest opportunity again between about 6 to 10 p.m., at least locally in Charlotte, and then mostly dry as we get past midnight. And we've mentioned this a few times, right? But it is not just the storms tomorrow. We want you to be weather aware because it's the combination of severe weather plus the heat and humidity we're going to see. And really these hot and humid temperatures are what's going to drive the daytime heating and all the instability in our atmosphere. But tomorrow and Thursday, especially days to stay weather aware as our heat index will get up to 105, if not up to 107, which is close to heat advisory category. And of course, even those highs in the mid to upper 90s, I bump tomorrow up to 97 degrees for a high temperature. So first you got heat and humidity. Every Everyone, of course, that encouraged to stay hydrated. That's above average heat, which means heat wave into place. And then tomorrow and into Thursday, as we are hot and humid, we also have all of that heat drawing, driving the storms. Then as we get closer to Friday, Saturday and approaching the weekend, temperatures do go down, but rain chances stay elevated all the way through the end of the weekend. All right, Brittany, thank you.